Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for asking me a lot of questions because I have a lot of questions that I'm going to answer for you guys today just about your BBL journey. Now, once again, I can only give you answers according to my experience and all bodies are not the same. So, but I can tell you a lot of what happened with me. Uh, but the first thing I do want to do is y'all please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I love you, your, 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 your comments. Like we just have a ball, all of my dolls, we have a ball and thank you for commenting. Thank you for asking the questions. Um, and just thank you for watching my channel. Um, sometimes it's just good to say thanks because a lot of people do need real information because it's a lot of information out here mm -hmm. that's really, really not right information. And the information that I tell you is either information that I have gotten from my doctors or through my experience. So it's not nothing that I have heard or this, this is true, true information and things that have worked for me. Mm -hmm. So once again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I just want to say what's up to all my dogs that has been following me since day one. Like, thank you so much, y'all. My true rider dies. Like, I got you. I got you. Hands down. I got you. <laughs> Period. Y'all hear my daughter in the background? <laughs> Period. So um, whatever y'all need, y'all, my dogs, I got, I got you. Um, but I do want to introduce a really, really, really important and special person in my life today that's going to be doing a video with me today i love this lady to the fullest if it was not for her i would not be who i am today and i know a lot of y'all don't really know who i am but as you get to know me you will definitely see and understand but this is my mother i want you to say hello to everybody <laughs> She's, Hello, everybody. She's going to be helping me do the video today. I'm really excited to have her on my channel to, to today. Thank you. And I want to tell her I love her to death. I love you if it wasn't for her, hey, it, it ain't no telling what this chick of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what we're going to do today is we're going to answer some of the questions that a lot of you guys has have been either putting in the in the comments or have been inboxing me, and we've been talking one on one. Um, so the first thing that I do want to address is how do you find a BBL doctor? What do you look for? How do you find a doctor? Now, the things that I would recommend to basically find your doctor is number one, one, make sure that you are going to a certified doctor. He, please make sure that your doctor is certified um, to even be a doctor. Make sure mm -hmm. he, he, he's, he's a practicing doctor. Um, two, uh, I would probably recommend and make sure that your doctor don't have any deaths under him, right? Like yes. just, just make sure because actually your life is just so much more important than, uh, having to die on the table due to a mistake because That's right. the surgery is a surgery. Actually, any surgery is just really important. That's true. And it's your life can be at hand with any mm -hmm. surgery That's right. that you have. So, because you, you are choosing to have a BBL, make sure that your doctor don't have any deaths. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> like, I, I just wouldn't recommend that. Um, and I do know it might not have been the doctor's mistake or blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I just wouldn't recommend going to a doctor that has deaths. Um, now, when you're doing your research on your doctor and you're looking on their Instagram pages and you're looking on different things, um, if you look for a doctor and just say, for instance, you are small and petite, mm -hmm. right? You're small and petite and you look on a doctor's page to see his work. Okay. And you look and you see his work and he has nobody on his page that's small and petite. I wouldn't really go to that particular doctor because it seemed like he might just specialize in bigger women and you want somebody that's going to specialize in somebody that's your size, mm -hmm. like see if you can find a doctor that, that you see that they might have. If is if you are a plus size woman, I wouldn't go to a doctor that has all petite women. Um, that's just my preference. I would need to know that he can work on somebody my size. That's right. Whether, right? It, be, whether it be small, medium, or if you're a large lady, I, I normally call them, um, uh, uh, 
very unique women. Right. Right. So, but see if they specialize in your size. Because a lot of women go to doctors and they don't like their results. And then when I look at what's going on, I'm like, well, everybody on the page is completely small. Or or everybody on the on your doctor's whole page is 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 is, is big. So go try to find a doctor that actually uh see if you can find somebody that has your your petite size um mm -hmm. or your size period and you will know that that doctor is good and know how much fat to take out of certain parts of your body and how much fat to put in certain parts mm -hmm. of your size it's, it's really really important i believe um another thing is that when you're picking your doctor and I told a lot of my dolls before and all of my future dolls before that you have to know the type of butt that you want, okay? So if you want a shelf butt, and if you guys have seen pictures before, but I'm also put it up here again. This is your shelf butt versus your slope butt. It's going to be right here. Okay, so you have to know what type of butt you want. So if you want a shelf butt which is going to be that's which is going to come out from the top then look at your doctor's page and see if he do shelf butts because some doctors don't do shelf butts they basically do what they know how to do um if you want a doctor that that does the slope butts of course i have a slope butt so the slope butt it come down and, and it gives you your cuff that you want as far as the cuff then look at your doctor's pages and see what your doctor has if if it's the slope butt if it's a sh if it's the uh, uh, uh curvy butt if <laughs> curvy curvy <laughs> bananas yes <laughs> peach butt like they have all type of different butts but you have to know what type of butt you want if you want hips you want lats you 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 want what do you want and then once you find out what you want and what you want your body to look like then you need to go to find a doctor that does what you want because every doctor just because they say does bbls that's right or lipo doesn't necessarily mean that they do the shapes that you want and i if if you guys look at my previous videos then you can actually see because i had to do a round two because i showed my doctor what i wanted and he gave me the total opposite so, and he told me at the beginning, like, hey, I got you. Like, you're going to look beautiful. And, 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 and everything was good until I seen my results. And I was like, this is not what I wanted. Like, I didn't want a shelf butt. I, I didn't want that. So, but doctors only do what, what they, they know how to do. That's right. So, make sure that you look at your doctor's profiles. You look at, you look at their clients. You look up different people who had surgery by them. And you see, okay, this is what I want. Because you can go to a doctor and he will promise you the world and it will get, and you'll get the total opposite. Because you need to know that they can do the job. That they can do the job that you're asking for. That's right. So, so just make sure that when you're doing your research, that you know that they can do the job that you want. That's right. Because they do what they know how to do. Learn your doctor, know your doctor. Right, and do your research. That's right. Do your research on your doctor so you would know. Now, don't go to a doctor and they got butts that look like this or look like this. So, and then you say, oh, my results didn't come out right. That's right. Well, you kind of got what you, what you got because you just wasn't doing the proper research. You know what you want. Okay? Now, the other questions that I have is, when did I stop wearing my foam boards? And y'all, y'all know if y'all watched a lot of my other videos, I I stopped wearing my foam boards. Maybe the foam boards, not the hard boards. Mm -hmm. It's a difference. It is the foam boards and the hard boards is different. The foam boards basically helps uh, with extra compression. Um, so I really I stopped wearing my foam boards. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I will say maybe like uh, a couple of days after my surgery, guys. Uh, uh, after after my wounds had actually started to to close and they was closed up and I didn't have any more leakage. Mm -hmm. 
uh, was when I put my tummy tuck wrap on. Mind you guys, I only had a BBL 360, but the tummy tuck wrap, when they do the lipo in your stomach, um, it's the same thing, like tummy tucks, what they do is they, they uh, cut a partial part of your stomach and bring it down, but they lipo the rest of it. And so with the tummy tuck wrap, they make you wear that so it can help you shape your body, shape your stomach the way it's, the way you want it shaped. So I wore my tummy tuck wrap, which gave a lot of compression, actually more compression than the actual uh, foam boards. Okay. So I put my tummy tuck wrap on and then I put my board in and then, and then the faja and then my snatch bands on top of that. So, um, I stopped wearing my phone boards really soon after because I switched over to my wrap. So, um, so that answers that question there. Um, did, did I get my chin done? I got my chin done the first time. And when I went to, I went to, uh, Dr. Malona in Dominican Republic the first time. Um, and I really didn't have a difference. Uh, I really didn't like my results as far as my chin. It actually looks the same. Um, that there, that there was kind of a waste of money there. Um, so once again, if you guys are looking to get your chin done, um, make sure that the doctor has results and you can see results. Um, see the difference. Yeah, you can see the difference because when when I did have my first round, I did get my chin done and. No, 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 no difference. difference. None. You still look like my chin. <laughs> <laughs> still, well, a little still, younger still, chin. Still, still <laughs> same. Still <laughs> same. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Number three. How do you get rid of the scars that's on your butt? Now, I want everybody to understand when you have scars. Now, they they do give you a scar cream. Okay. okay. Now you can put your scar cream on every day. Well, you can purchase your scar cream that you can put and some people it do go away with the scar cream but some people it don't and the reason being is because some people they get like little key lords okay um at the inserts where they do the 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 lipo okay so those particular ones you have to go back to your doctor and you have to get a steroid shot that's going to get the keloid out and it makes it go away. So it's, 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 it's a shot that you can actually get um, to make those go away if they don't go away with the scar uh, cream because it is a different type of uh, keloid that you can get mm -hmm. from the scars. It's just like, um, cause they, they, they call them surgical keloid. So you can't put any type of uh, scar cream on it? No, you can try with the scar cream first. So try with the scar, scar cream first, and if it goes away, then great. But I did have a couple of ones that would not go away with the scar cream, and I had to go to the doctor to actually get the, it's a steroid that they put in, in the keloid, and it'll make it go away. Okay. Okay, um, so it's it's two different kinds that you actually can get, but just try try to go ahead and do the uh, scar cream first, and then if it doesn't go away, then go ahead and go to the doctor and get them to do it with the steroid shot. Um, number four, um, do you wear a t-shirt under these fajas? Yes, and you definitely want to wear a t-shirt under them, and that's because they're so tight. And because they're so tight that if you don't wear a t-shirt under them, you will have like, you can get um, faja burns from your faja. So you can get the faja burns that you don't want. And actually my first round when I went to the Dominican Republic, my faja was so, so tight that even when I wore the t-shirt, I had scar burns. Wow. Like it, that's how tight my faja was. But I didn't wear that tight of a faja this, the second round, which was so much better. Um, so it's best to keep a t-shirt on 
so you don't have to have those scars. And then if you don't have a t-shirt on too, you know where the hooks are. That'd be all, all you, you have the indentions like all right in, in your here. skin and, and stuff. So yes, it's, 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 it's very best to just go ahead and keep your, your, um, your t-shirts on under your faja. Um, now if you're not going to safe, say for instance, you are like a couple of months past, well, like I would say about six months and you just trying to just go, go, go ahead and put it on and then you're going to take it back off and put it on and take it back off. Then, okay. You okay. do got some type of exceptions. Okay. But, um, when you know you got to keep it on, girl, keep the t-shirt on because you don't want them burns and you don't want all, all, all of them indentions. Well, they be itching. You know how you be putting on socks? Yes. And you be having them indentions and you take the socks off. It be right. itching like hell. <laughs> they be it's itching. True. The fire the same way, y'all. It's the same way. It just be itching, itching, itching. You know Even I mean? when you wear something too tight. Yes. And you take it off, you be like, oh, okay. It be itching. 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 Right. Yeah, so <laughs> you definitely want to put your uh, t-shirt on under your fire hat. Number five. What do you consider stable blood pressure? Uh, you would have to be, it, it, it would have to be stable, meaning not high. It would have to be regulated. If it's not regulated, the doctor is not going to have your surgery. Your high blood True. pressure has to be regulated, meaning it has to be stable. stable. It has to be right. It has to be perfect. That's right. And so the medicine that you are taking, keep taking it and make sure that you go to your doctors before you have your surgery and make sure that your blood pressure is stable because if it's not you're not gonna do the surgery you can forget it okay um an, an, another thing about your high blood pressure is that you do they do tell you to take your blood pressure right before surgery. So, so take your pill, but you got to take it with a really little bit of water. So what they told me was like, you, you can't eat after a certain time. Okay. I think it's like 11 or 12 that night. So, okay. so, so you can't eat that, that night, but early that morning, they say, take a little bit of water and take your high blood pressure pill. But that's the only thing that you can eat. Mm -hmm. Um, well, was have right. right before your surgery. You can't do any other foods, no other juices, no other anything. It has to be just for your pill. Right. Okay. Um, how long after the surgery can I put the snatch bands faha on uh, the actual band? Y'all, I put mine on, uh, I would say, two days after. Um, like as soon, as soon as I could get, get there. Cause the Faha that Dr. Dobak had actually put me in was way too big for, for me. Like it wasn't even giving me no compression at all. So by the time I got back to my room, mm -hmm. I just went on and just, uh, switched it on over because I just wanted some type of compression. Like I, I just, I, I, and I told the doctor, I said, I'm not getting no compression here. And I do know that the compression helps with your blood clots and it helps like get your body right. It just helps with the swelling. It, it, it helps with a lot of the medical terms mm -hmm. that, that just has to actually be done. Um, so as soon as I got back, I kind of went on and switched over, um, because my faha was just too big that I came home and, and that's with my second round. So, okay. um, it was, it was just too big. So I went on a switch by the time I, came home okay well what came back to the whole so so it, it's okay if they give you something that's too big that you can add something to it to well she 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 gave me my whole garment was just too big like it was okay. I could have put my clothes on like like I could have put my whole outfit on and then the top and then the fire out on top of it wow. like it, it was like I'm talking about jeans I'm, I'm not talking about no regular just no tight clothes. I'm talking about it was really, really big. Wow. Like, I was like, she gave me like a 2X. And all I needed was like, really like a large mm -hmm. or extra large. And, and it was just really, really big. So, um, by the time I got back to the room, I said, no, I've got to change this. Because it's so uncomfortable. Actually, it's just irritable. Just having 
that lipo everywhere too. So actually, the compression helps you. Okay. It it it, it actually helps. It, it it makes it a little more comfortable because you don't feel like your body is hanging off. Well, that's if, if that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> you know. Um, okay. So that was number six. Um, number seven. What are the floaties that I be talking about, y'all? The floaties you can get up from Snatch Vans too. It helps you sleep. <laughs> you put the floaty down. I I'm gonna show you a picture right here. You put the floaty down. You blow it up, and 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 your, your butt. You put your butt in the little in the little hole, so it won't. It's not touching anything, and you can just really just lay back, and you can really just go to sleep. Because believe it or not, a lot of people say, "Hey, I sleep on my back." Or I sleep with my stomach, it ain't gonna be an issue. But the minute that you do not, that you have to sleep on your stomach, <laughs> it is the worst. Like, it is, <laughs> oh my God, like it's the worst. But sleeping, I would say, is one of the worst parts of the BBL. Really? Just trying to have, trying to get some sleep. But wouldn't that bother you if that's there? No, because what happened is, is when you sit, when you sit on it, you actually on a bed. So you got your floaty and you pile your pillows up. And okay. you pile your pi pi pillows up. And, and when you get in it, you kind of get in it and you just sit back and you just go to sleep. And and but your but your butt is not touching anything because the floaty is the whole part it has you up. Wow. So so it's oh that was the relief of my life. <laughs> Oh, wow. The floaties. <laughs> I'm so serious. Like it was. It, it helped me so much. Um, okay, so if the doctor is going to use drains, now some doctors do still use drains. They do not let it just leak out. Okay, some doctors do still use the drains. For instance, my BBL number one, mm -hmm. I had the drains. My BBL two. It just leaked out. So she did not use the drains. So um, with um, with my drains, let me tell y'all, for number one, in the Dominican Republic, they use different type of drains too. So I really can't say the drains that they use here because I did not use them. But it hurts like really where the drain is. It's like tubes that go around and it just really, really hurts. But it just helped the blood to just continue to drain out and all of the leakage that you need to actually drain out. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it actually hurt. But you need the same, the same identical supplies. Um, if you haven't seen my supplies vi video, please just go back. Um, I'll post it in the description so you can see the supplies that you're going to need. Um, I'll post that in the description. So, But you're going to need the same supplies. Um, uh, the same thing. Um, I hope y'all are listening because this is very interesting <laughs> and you need to know all of this. That's yeah, fantastic. It's, it's really important. Now with the leakage, a lot of people see that the leakage is red and they think it's blood, mm -hmm. but it's not really blood. It's the solution that they use. But that's why it's all, it's, excuse me, it's, it's always good to have the two Fajas at the same because your doctor should give you one right after surgery. And you should have one or two there as well because all of the leakage that come out, girl, it's going to come out all on your faja, all on your garment. It's going to be leaking. And you really want to get that off to put a nice clean one on so you can wash the other one. So you really need two or three fajas at that time just to be able to just to stay clean because you will have that leakage. It's not blood, but it's the fluids. Wow. Oh, oh okay. So will it be coming from... Where? It comes from the inside. So wherever they did your um, your lipo at, okay. it, 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 it drains from those holes. So okay. it could be in your back, in your stomach, in your arms. It, it drains wherever those holes are. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Next question. Very educational. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What size do I wear in a Faja and um, how tall am I? Ladies, I'm 5'4". I'm not that tall, but I'm 5'4". And I wear a large right now in a Faja. I wear a large. I can do a medium, but I stick with my 
large now at this point because I'm I am um, eight months post op now. Um, so I stick with my large. It's comfortable. Do I still wear my boards? Yes. Do I still wear my faha? Yes. Do I still wear my snatch band? Yes. <laughs> and does she look good? Yes. <laughs> But you just wear it as long as you can and as long you wear your stuff until you accomplish or get to the shape that you want. I'm not saying it for everybody because that might not apply for everybody because it's different people who have different BMIs where they can't take out a certain amount of fat. You have to go back to get what you want done. Okay. So it is different for everybody. Um, so if you... Um, have more fat in that area that you need to take out then usually it needs to come out but you just wait till all your swelling goes down um just to see where you are though and and go ahead and keep your faha on keep your boards in keep your tummy tuck wrap on so it'll shape you really good another thing that i do want to tell people is about uh a, a, a Airbnb versus a um, recovery home. A recovery home, if you don't have nobody going with you, then yes, I would highly recommend for you to stay in a recovery home because they have the nurses there to take care of you and give you your medicine and feed you and stuff like that. But your wife, your, hus your, your wife, husband, best friend, they can do the same thing. Like I literally stay in a BBL I'm in the in, in the BBL. Mm -hmm. I stay so in the Airbnb mm -hmm. both times. Um, my husband took care of me. Um, it wasn't really no big issue as as far as it's. I don't think it's to the point. I don't think the surgery is that bad where you really oh I can't walk. I can't take care of myself. No, you got to get up and you got to walk every hour on an hour. So while you up walking, take your pills. <laughs> yep. you, you know what I'm saying? Drink a lot of water. You have to drink a lot of water. You got to drink. You got to take your pills. They say drink orange juice. Um, you got to drink. You got to do that. Um, and if you're like me, sometimes people say drink a lot of water. I don't like water like that. But if you're doing this surgery, you have to have water. Yeah, you have, you, to, have you water. have to drink the, 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 the water. It, it, it just helps with your swelling. It helps with everything. It helps with your results. Just drink a lot of water. Um, drink a lot of orange juice, too. Um, that helps a lot. Um, if you don't have surgery, this is one of the questions. If you don't have surgery, um, can you still wear the body shapers? Absolutely. A body shaper is clearly a body shaper. It don't matter if you are having surgery. It don't matter if you um, are just trying to or shape you, your body. Or you're just trying to shape your body or you're just going to work and, and whatever. Or if you're working out, anybody can wear any one of the fajas. Anybody can wear any one of the shapers, garments, or however you want it. Actually, what we, what I do and what my other daughter do that has not had her surgery yet, she wears her um, her fajas now while she's working out. So it actually helps shape her as she's going down. Um, so if you, you can wear the fajas if you do not have surgery as well when you're working out. Go ahead, snatch bands. They got the best. Fahas, and I can only tell you from experience, that's where I got mine from, and I know from experience what it done for me. So, hey, I get a lot of um, uh, feedback from a lot of my dolls that actually says that their Fahas that they got from Snatch Bands was the best too. They, they say, hey, hands down, hands down, Snatch Bands all the way. So get your Fahas from Snatch Bands. They have breathable butts and breathable hips where it don't have any pressure on the butt and the hips, but everything else has a lot of compression and you get the extra Snatch Band and it's on point. It's snatching your stomachs. It's snatching you, snatching you, snatching you. <laughs> and that I can testify to. She has me wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> because she works out because she works out so I say hey work out and it's not a good and difference. I am pleased I look so good not because you said it 
but because I see it. That's right. That's right. Okay, and if you don't know my codes, everybody know that I am a affiliate for Snatch Bands. I'm gonna put my code in the description. Um, the Faha that I have is the Exquisite, and I have the Stretch Floral, and um, my daughter has the um, Miracle. So the Miracle, y'all, is best for wearing under your clothes if you gotta go back to work. Like, it's really good for that. Like, it gives you the compression that you need to be able to, like, to go back to work and things. But the uh, Exquisite and the Stretch Floral, they're awesome, too. Um, you, you can wear them back to work, too, but a lot of people don't. Uh, the Miracle is seamless. But the, the Exquisite and the Stretch Floral do have the uh, hooks, but they're awesome. I, I love them. Okay? Second Daddy Motion. <laughs> Let's see. The size charts on the snatch bands, um, the size charts, y'all don't go off on your butt size because the butts are breathable and stretchable. So go off on your regular size if it's a medium or or if it is, um, if your regular size is, is a medium or your regular size is a large, get your regular size. Don't worry about how the butt part is because the butt actually is stretchable and breathable so you don't have to actually worry about that particular part okay and okay. i'm not gonna do all of these questions i'm gonna do another video <laughs> with the rest of the questions okay um let's see so we have let's see okay so the next question is um a, a lot of people was feeling that their butts are actually going down after the surgery. So I do want to explain that. Now, a lot of women like the the um, BBL when you're swollen. No, your BBL once you go once you once your swelling start going down, it do look like your butt is going down. It it, it does. That's just how it how it is. Your swelling is going down. Um, but once you hit about two months, two months, maybe three, your butt do fluff. It's going to fluff back up. So it's, it's going to be weird, but it fluffs back up. And you're like, oh, you're going to wake up one day and be like, oh. My, there it is. There it go. <laughs> like it, it, your butt do fluffs up around two to three months. So just give it some time and uh, have a little bit of patience. And I know everybody is excited to see the results, but you're really not gonna see your full results until three three months, I would say about three months, but you still see more results as you keep on going down. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? I understand. Um, now, your fajas are so important. Please put your fajas on. I have talked to a couple of people where they say, oh, I'm just not wearing mine, blah, 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 blah. Now, if you don't wear yours and you don't get the results that you want, then don't blame it on nobody. Don't blame it on the doctor. Don't blame it on nobody but yourself because you're supposed to have your fajas on. And if you don't put them on, then that's really on you. Like, you you have to put them on. And then a lot of people, you can get uh, the, the uh, fibroises where you get in the hard spots and you see your stomach looking like rocks and and stuff like that. Do what you're supposed to do. And y'all know I preach that all the time. Do what you're supposed to do. Uh, keep your fajas on. They're so, 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 so important to not only the surgery and your body. It's in surgery to healing. I mean, it's important for your healing. It's important for um, your results. It's important for everything. So put it on. And even I have seen a couple of people say that they might have like uh they might get yeast infections and stuff from the faha sweetheart put some panties on <laughs> but keep keep your faha on like do whatever you got to do block that area so so you won't get a um yeast infection mm -hmm. so do whatever you have to do if you want good results then you have to do what you're supposed to do and keep it compressed um What's the difference between the four Fajas from Snatch Bands that I usually recommend? Um, they have slight differences. Uh, they all have breathable 
uh, hips and butts, which is great, but the new 2020. The new 2020 is a, it's a latex uh, waist trainer around the waist area. So it's really good. It still sweats your stomach, but it do not have the crotch opening. So I would really recommend that for people who's over the three months and over the six months where they don't have no problem with taking it off and on because it do not have the crotch area, but it does have the latex snatch. Uh, uh, um, it, it, it has the latex waist trainer that's with that, that, that was made with the Faha. Then it also comes with the snatch band that snatches it on top of the waist trainer, okay? Now, the stretch floral comes all the way up the back. And if y'all look at my other videos, I'm going to put that in, in, in the uh, description there where you can see where the stretch floral comes over the back. A lot of people who has Lipo 360, they have surgery in their back. They want to get their flanks. They want to get all the fat and stuff in their backs and in their arms and, 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 and stuff, it comes up that way. So it gives compression over the back. It do have the crotch opening. It does give compression. That one is really good for just the overall, if you got your, if you want your back covered. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, miracle, like we have explained before, is seamless. Uh, it's really good for, um, Wearing under your clothes to work a lot of women after they have these sur surgeries. They have to go back to work So it's really good for 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 that mm -hmm. um, The exquisite is just my favorite guys. It, it just fits me. Well, um, I, I love the exquisite It don't have the back, but it just comes right under your your breast and it has that extra It's just that that extra snatch and the snatch band just extra snatch it Um I just love the way the exquisite, all of them have butt lifters on it. So it's going to continue to shape your butt. Um, they all have the butt lifters. So that's great. Uh, the exquisite, mm -hmm. the miracle, miracle and the stretch floral all have crotch openings. Um, that's amazing. The, the new 2020 do not, but they do got the waist trainer on it, uh, which is really good. Um, so those, that's the difference between the actual uh, four that I love. Um, and this is going to be the last question. And the rest of the questions I'm going to add, I'm going to answer in the next video, y'all, because I promise you I have like 50 to 60 questions. Um, and I don't want the video to be so, so long. Um, so this question here basically is, what was the difference between my uh, BBL1 and my BBL2? Um, well, one, my first BBL was in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. um, so it was across seas. Um, my second one was here in U.S. Um, they are totally different. And I did do a video on that before. I will link that video as well on the difference between, well, my experience uh, with the difference between um, the, um, two, two, right. So Dr. Malona in the Dominican Republic and Dr. Doback here in the United States in Florida, I'm going to link that video, uh, below. So you guys can watch that as well, because it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. And they do do things differently. Um, I mean, a lot of things differently. So I, that can, if you watch that video, that can actually help you to choose where you want to go. Um, but they both have their ups and they both have their downs. So that's that. And last thing, guys, make sure that you're getting your massages. <laughs> really important, really, really important. Do not go out talking about well, I only had one or two massages, and then you complaining, but I got lumps here, lumps there. Get your massages, baby. <laughs> do what you're supposed to do. That's going to be the last thing that I say today. Would you like to have any encouraging words to my dolls? Yes, I do. To her dolls and anybody <laughs> and everybody that's looking and watching. It's so great to have somebody that can share their experience with you and get the outcome that you are looking for and give you directions on what to do. I am so proud of her, and it's not, it's not where she's given advice to bring you out, to help you out, right. and to be happy 
in your decisions that you're making. And it's not just for the young, it's for the seasoned oh, yeah, no, people. It's, it's, it's all ages. That's all ages. Every age and has that they're they're getting by they're getting different liposuctions done. That's right. And um and wanting to shape their own life. And that's what I look at. And I just wanna thank her for just being the person that she is and and helping any and every way that she can. And I thank you. And thank you. Love you. <laughs> and y'all know what my saying is, guys. Let them be the best them, and you be the best you. That's because right. Because you are the best you, and you can only make yourself happy, nobody else. Love you guys to all of my Love ride or dies. I'm a ride or die for you too, baby. <laughs> Love you.